Hi, I'm Adam, GIS Program Manager for the Regions. I'm Caitlin, GIS Manager for Operations. And, and this, this is, is Talking, Talking Orange. Orange. GIS uh, stands for Geographic Information System or Systems or Sciences, depending on where you are and how it's used. Uh, to me, it means organizing, analyzing, and kind of creating spatial data. GIS is a way to take like locations of say your school or your house and the roads connecting your school and house and maybe the water lines, power lines. Huh? So Google Maps, that's a really good example of GIS. Interactive maps are um, a way for us to get the data into a format that is hopefully easily digestible for everyone, both internal to UDOT and external to UDOT. I think it's a big part of communicating information, but also an important component for transparency in terms of showing what UDOT does and helping the public understand what we do. Uh, we have hundreds of different data layers from ATMS to snow power routes, um, fiber optic lines. It's important to have that because we can analyze the data and make better decisions, better planning. Maybe, you know, when we're planning to expand a road, maybe there's a smarter way to do it. The UPlan is an online mapping application that uh, Esri, the software provider, provides for us. And so UDOT was, you know, one of the first that adopted this ArcGIS Online stuff, and uh, without that, we, I'd still think we'd be trying to develop our, you know, in-house applications to, to do what that does. We have a projects app that's available in UPlan, and that has many different projects, the stage of the project, so the public can go and look at that app and see where a project is active, and it may help them avoid that area if necessary, and help reduce congestion. There's a couple of projects that we've been working on in Region 1. Uh, one is the Adopt a Highway program of actually having all the sections that are available to adopt available to the public on a map so they can visually see which sections they can adopt and then click on that link, fill out the application and send it to the director. Probably what I'd say is just get into the website it's it, it might look like there's a lot going on um, but really on the front side of it there's there's not you know it's it's a website and you can search through it I think just taking some time and and searching I mean we you can type in a keyword and some information will pull up it's a little bit easier to digest and again hopefully by creating those um, spatial representations, it puts it in a format that is easily digestible and understood by people with varying degrees of expertise or knowledge about the subject matter. Just start searching and you'll be amazed at what you can find in there. As Carlos would say, be safe out there. Buckle up. Put your phones down. Thank you for all you do. And remember, you, you keep, keep Utah, Utah moving. moving. GIS to me is all about spatial data. Spatial data. CAD data and open data. Spatial data. <laughs>